charitable gift-giving strategies on this edition of WealthWise. Hi, I'm Deanne Rosso, President and CEO of Elevate Wealth Advisory. Today, our Wealth Advisor, Rob Fazekas, is chatting with us about charitable gift-giving strategies and how they fit into year-end planning. Welcome, Rob. Well, thanks, Deanne. Now I'd like to talk about one of the most common year-end planning items for most people, and that is gift-giving. Now, there's two main categories of giving gifts. There's non-charitable gifts and charitable gifts. So I'm going to talk about non-charitable gift giving first. So a non-charitable gift is a gift that you would give that does not go to a charitable organization, but instead goes to uh, an individual like a family member or a friend. And these are not tax deductible on your tax return. This year, the annual gift tax exclusion amount is $16,000 per person. So that means you can give away up to $16,000 to as many different individuals as you want this year and not have to worry about filing a gift tax return or anything like that. Now remember, gifts are not considered taxable income to the recipient, but if you do give a gift greater than $16,000 to an individual in a single year, the IRS requires you to file a gift tax return, also known as Form 709, even if you won't ultimately owe any tax on that gift. So gifts that are greater than $16,000 to an individual effectively reduce your lifetime unified gift and estate tax exclusion amount, which this year is $12,060,000 per person, or more than $24 million per married couple. So this is not a limit that too many people need to worry about, but that's what the limit numbers are this year. Let me move on to charitable gift giving and some of the strategies uh, involved in giving gifts to charities. So uh, the first and probably the simplest way to give a gift to charity is just to give cash. Uh, charities are set up to accept cash. It's very easy for them to receive cash and use it in, in the way that they need to. And the deduction limit for cash gifts to charities this year is 100% of your adjusted gross income. So this means in theory, you could give away a cash gift equal in size to your adjusted gross income and not owe any income tax this year in 2022. Another strategy would be to give, uh, instead of cash, appreciated securities. So these would be shares of mutual funds or stocks or bonds that have unrealized capital gains. And by giving away those kinds of securities, you avoid ever having to pay capital gains tax on those gains. Uh, furthermore, the charity, when they go to sell those securities so that they can use the cash, they also don't owe any tax on, on the capital gains. Now, another strategy would be uh, to uh, bundle or bunch together more than a single year's worth of, of uh, charitable gift giving into a single year. And this is often done in order to exceed the standard deduction amount, which is higher than it used to be a few years ago. And so that means fewer and fewer people uh, tend to itemize their deductions, which includes charity. And so one way to get over that standard deduction amount is to bundle several years worth of gift giving uh, into a single year. Um, and then uh, you may be able to itemize deductions and save money on your taxes. Now, if you're interested in that strategy, but you'd still like to spread out those gifts over several years, you could couple that with a donor advised fund. So this is a, a charitable fund that you establish and uh, you make charitable gifts, irrevocable gifts to that fund. And you're entitled to take the full deduction of the, the fair market value of any gifts that you make to that fund. But then you can issue grants uh, to charities uh, on your own schedule. Um, and this way, you sort of keep control over the timing of your charitable gifts, but you still get to take the full deduction uh, in the year that you make those gifts. Finally, uh, for those that are eligible, you can also consider making a qualified charitable distribution from an IRA. If you're over age 70 and a half and have an IRA, um, you can make a gift directly from your IRA to a charity, and that gift, that distribution is not considered uh, taxable income for you. The limit on that strategy is $100,000 in 2022. Well, that's it this time. 
Uh, thanks very much. Thanks for watching Wealthwise.